I was going to make a video of me doing the Iron Maiden painting, right? For Six Gun Gorilla. Um, and I am. I'm, in fact, I, I made the video and you probably just watched it and this is the end. <laughs> but um, I didn't finish the painting on the video. And the reason is, is because I got impatient and I couldn't wait. And it's not that I forgot to turn the video on. I just, I just started painting. I figured I'd get a little bit done, and then go ahead and turn the video on, and have, you know, and then just like wrap it up with me doing, the, you know, doing the final touches on the paint. Well, of course, once I got carried, once I started, I got carried away, and it just it snowballed into a finished piece. So anyway. Here's the piece, um, and I'm gonna pit, like put some high-res pics on Twitter in my um, my uh, Patreon and different social media platforms like that. Um, if, if you notice, there's a bunch of Easter eggs in here that you guys are gonna have to figure out and see if you can find. Um, I made sure to make it kind of fun. You know, uh, as you can see, I did use a little bit of airbrush to go ahead and make that light fixture kind of shine down and make kind of a moody scene inside of the bar. 
the bar at the edge of eternity. And um, so this is it. This is the finished piece. Um, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any questions about technique or anything like that, feel free to go ahead and hit me up. I'll um, definitely definitely answer any questions you might have. Uh, it was fun to do it. It took about a week to do, but that's also considering that I was also working on other projects at the time. Like I got a couple of pages done for a book I'm working working on called Three Nights, Four Days. I got a couple of, I was also um, trying to get Doc Salem off to the printers. Um, and it was just a bunch of other stuff. I mean, and then I had uh, I had a couple of commissions I had to knock out too. So it probably I think I could have got it done a lot quicker, maybe three four days. But you know, who knows? Nobody knows if that's actually a thing. <laughs> and unfortunately, I can't prove it or disprove it. So fuck it. Anyway, the thing is, is that it's done. I did not repeat. The, I, I didn't try to duplicate the original painting. I did use elements from it to go ahead and uh, make sure that I did pay homage to um, to the original Iron Maiden, Stranger in a Strange Land painting. Yeah, so I made sure to, to pay homage to Derek, Derek Riggs. Um, and I, I, gotta, I gotta be honest with you. Um, I'm, I'm not a genius when it comes to painting this shit quick, right? Uh, the whole reason it would it done it like it got done quick. It's two 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 reasons actually. One, Derek already pioneered the way. Like this is already Derek already wrote, like drew me a roadmap and said where to go by just looking off of his original paint, right? Um, and um, so it wasn't that difficult to see what colors I would use or what colors I'd adjust from Derek's original paint. Um, and Another thing, too, is I didn't use the same process Derek used. Um, those processes used by those old-time British artists, or uh, is Derek American? I don't know if he's American or British or whatever. But anyway, like that old-school like type of art they used to do, where they did illustrate, illustrated paintings, they would use, um, uh, they would use uh, blocking tape and shit like that to go ahead and... Uh, and uh and make like to go ahead and cut out each piece and then airbrush a little and then cut some more out and airbrush and then tape over everything all over again recut it and airbrush i mean it was a big pain in the ass it probably took him a couple of months or a month to go ahead and get that original painting done me it got a lot quicker because i freehanded most of this stuff right i mean i did a sketch and then after doing the sketch i just went ahead and and um and just went off, right? Like the sketch wasn't really that detailed. Um, yeah, look, literature devil, me, Brian. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, and I changed a bunch of characters. Uh, and you know, I I did a, this this painting. It's it it pays homage, and it's it's a parody painting. That's what it is. Um, so you guys enjoy it, and uh. Check out Six Gun Gorilla. Check out Doc Salem, Monster Hunter on IGG. I got a letter from, um, I got an email from the printer today. So the books are on their way. So if you want to get, you want to catch it, like it's, it's here, dude. Just go ahead and back the book. You, it would help me out. <laughs> back me on Patreon. If you, uh, if you want to help me out and, you know, keep me working, you know, doing this type of stuff. Um, money's freedom. And, uh. Yeah, we could all use a little freedom right now. So, uh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to sign it. Okay, let's let's do that real quick. Um, so anyway, like I said, I finished the painting, but let's go ahead. I can sign it on uh, on here. So where's a perfect? Right there. That looks perfect. I know it sucks. It's 
probably the most boring thing ever, right? Watch me sign my name. You know, the thing is, is when I first started doing like uh, high-end prints and stuff like that, I was so nervous because the stuff I was signing was super expensive. I misspelled my name a couple of times. It's crazy, right? <laughs> All right, so 20. This won't be the last painting for 20 this year. Okay, you people take it easy, and thanks for tuning in. Catch you later.